Hello and welcome to week eight here in research methods and happy birthday America. I'm reporting this, I'm recording this on the 4th of July. I hope you are not working on the 4th of July, enjoying your hot dogs and hamburgers. Happy birthday also a few days ago to Canada, July 1st. So two of my favorite countries having birthdays right next to each other. It's pretty cool. So here we are in chapter 10. Moving right along in our content, we're going to be talking about correlation studies. And this is actually one of the most common types of research that you're going to encounter. It's often a first stage in research process. I'll explain that in just a little bit. I think many of you, in terms of your personal research projects this semester, are looking almost entirely at correlations. Now, Correlations simply imply that there's a relationship between two variables. Now, one variable, what we're ultimately looking for is a cause-effect relationship. I want to know whether or not this variable, should I know this variable, can I reliably predict that this next variable is going to change according to the value on this variable? Now. Before we can get anywhere close to determining a cause-effect relationship between those variables, we first have to determine, is there a relationship between them? When one variable as a measure goes up, does the other one reliably go up as well? Or does when one go up, does the other one reliably go down? So we're looking for that mathematical relationship between two variables as a first step to say, yep, yeah, there is a relationship there. It could be spurious, which means it just happens, you know, serendipitously. It's just, you know, it's just, well, the word spurious, meaning it's a non-meaningful relationship. Or it could be meaningful, and we take that data and we move on to the next stage of experiments to determine whether it's truly a cause-effect relationship there. So there's three things to do in this week. We have a discussion, we have a quiz, and we have an assignment. The discussion examines the correlation between infants listening to classical music by Mozart and achievement later in life. It's a correlation. In fact, it is a correlation, but it's not a cause-effect relationship. So I want you to examine that in terms of what truly might be going on. And there's some really, really good indicators that the actual music itself does not affect child development. Uh, however, you can explore the other factors together. The quiz looks at another. The first question looks at uh, how do you explain to an individual that in truth, people do not act differently during the full moon. That is absolutely not true. It is the Latin term for the moon is luna, where we get the word lunatic. And a lunatic is an individual, you know, who's... Uh, unreliably unpredictable. Their behavior is unpredictable. And the, the relationship between that and the vernacular of the moon is the moon changes. It changes its phase. So throughout human history, the moon has been viewed as a reflection of things that change over a period of time, a relatively quick period of time, as opposed to the seasons, which occur over a year. We have the moon changing every month. And so it's a, it's, a, it's a cycle of change that's quick. And that connection to the moon, the word lunacy, lunatic, all of these things that come from that Latin derivative uh, all speak to the notion that we sort of have this sense that the moon, you know, the, shifts the tides in our brain chemistry or something. Not true. However explore how you might explain that to an individual who truly believes. I have people in my own life that swear they work in emergency rooms, they work wherever, and they swear when it's a full moon, it's all crazy. The statistics don't bear out, even if you might have personal experience in that. The next question in that particular quiz is a straightforward compare and contrast and that is the advantages and disadvantages, limitations, advantages, limitations of a correlation study. All of you are doing them. There's all kinds of advantages of doing that. 
but there's also a lot of limitations. Like I said, in the, in the progress of creating knowledge in the field of psychology, we often develop ideas and hypotheses about the relationships between something. Then we look for a correlation. And if the correlation exists, we move on to the next step for experimentation to truly determine cause-effect relationships. So it's, it's like it's not done. It's good, but it's not done. The work is not done when we just do a correlation. Well, there, I gave you part of the answer. Nice teacher. Chapter 10 assignment. You do not need to do Merry Christmas. Or actually, Happy Birthday, America. There, you got a uh, present for your uh, for the American birthday. And that is you do not need to do Chapter 10 assignment. Supposed to be a group effort. It's 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 something I'm gonna take a deeper look at as to whether it even applies anymore to the uh, structure of this class. So I said there were three things. There's actually only two. So one discussion about the effect of Mozart on infants, and then explaining the moon effect, and then advantages and limitations of correlation studies. So that's the tasks for this week. So stay on task. I know some of you are very busy. We have a busy time of year. Uh, I have some grading to do to help you folks move on to your next level. We're getting very close to actually implementing this, and I and I apologize for not getting um, some of those graded sooner. I'll be probably grading them later today. As I'm recording this, my two nieces are in the room looking at me, wondering when I'm going to go down and start the grill or something. So they're right over there. And uh, so uh, I'll be busy for a little bit of this day, uh, but I'll uh, probably later I'll get to grading those. And then again, we're working together on this. We're still within the time frame. Don't we're right around that time. These last chapters are really designed to be sort of covering the content. All of you are really getting ready to to issue out your your surveys and start getting ready on them. So before I'm too distracted by one of my nieces dancing right now, trying to make me laugh, uh, I'll end this video. And so have a great day. I hope you're enjoying the holiday. Enjoy the good weather and take care of yourselves. And I will see you next time.